Uh, okay, uh, I would like to explain about teaching and learning aids in lesson structure and instructional media. Teaching and learning aids in lesson structure. When there is talk of teaching and learning aids in the lesson situation, by no means is there an attempt to plead for their use in teaching. At this stage of teaching, we have already already advanced far enough so that it is no longer is necessary to make a case for the use of media. A few relevant terms as con are considered briefly. Terms of teaching and learning aids in lesson structure. The first is audiovisual aids. This is the best and the most terms used by the teacher in learning. The second is teaching aids. Father Stop used the term teaching aid to summarize instructional, instructional and learning aids. Instructional aids are what the teacher uses in presenting a lesson, while learning aids are used by the pupils. And the third is media. Uh, the use of the term media has consequences for the use of the term audiovisual visual aids. And the fourth is teaching technology as technical scientific application to teaching with a view to the aim and structure, structure of teaching. The media that are going to be used in a particular lesson will be determined by the aims, the teaching strategies, and etc. Thus, media only are able to integrate into a particular lesson if that lesson is systematically trained according to the pre-mentioned system of other similar The next chapter is selecting media. According to Roman Zosky, the following factors influence the selection of media are learning content, type of learning tasks, teaching strategies, student or cultural characteristic, practical limitation, and the last preference of the teacher. Uh, this learning material is concerned with the media of teaching English. It is important to improve teachers' knowledge about the instructional media in presenting materials. The biggest problem in teaching English said that learners are not interested in studying. Media is a kind of components which has information. According to Richard 1992, in general terms, media means for television, radio, and newspaper considered as a world and as ways of entertaining, of spreading news or information to a large number of people. Uh, also, media is very useful in learning in the English language. Teachers, instructors, and learners are helped by using media to achieve the learning goals. So the teachers should apply the media in teaching learning activities because it has seven uh, benefits. The first is instructional media can be solved the lack of the learner's experiences. The second is can be reached everything out of the class. The third is uh, can create the possible direct interaction between the learners and their environment. And the fourth, uh, media are produced some sufficient. The fifth, media can be keep the basic, concrete, and real concept of the teaching. And sixth, uh, the learners' motivation are aroused by using media and learning. And the last, media are integrated the experience from the concrete things to the abstract one. Kinds of media. Uh, there are so many instructional media are used in teaching and that starting from the simplest or cheapest, such as drawing or teacher model drawings, still picture, audio recording, motion picture and TV, realia object, simulation and model, and last, program and computer assisted instruction. Uh, also, there are visual media that can be used effectively used by the teacher in classroom. The first is picture, can be photograph of people, places or things. The second is realia or real objects. The third is drawing or teacher mode drawings. And the fourth chart, poster and cartoon. 
The fifth is blackboard or whiteboard. Six audio media. Seven overhead projector and the last LCD projector. Uh, before uh, uh, before the teacher use the instructional media, uh, we, the teacher should selecting the appropriate instructional media in the classroom. The first is refuse instructional goals, objective, audience, and instructional strategies. And the second is determine the best medium for your lesson components. The third is search and review the existing media. And the fourth, do the evaluation. Six, uh, apply and the last, evaluate and revise. Uh, I think now about uh, my, my explanation about uh, instructional media. Uh, if you if you don't understand, you might ask the question. situation uh, by no means is there an atom to plead for their use in teaching at this stage of teaching we have already advanced far enough so that it's no longer is necessary to make a case for the use of media uh, also research has shown that if used appropriately and in the right places they contribute to purpose purpose Purposeful teaching. I think enough. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.